imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me. I can only imagine. Standing in the sun I can only imagine When all I would do Is forever Forever worship you I can only imagine yeah. I can only imagine To my knees will I fall, will I sing hallelujah, will I be able to speak at all, I can only imagine, yeah, I can only imagine. I can't imagine this morning, but I know it's going to be far better than anything that we've ever seen when we get in the presence of our Lord and Savior. Welcome this morning to another live stream and church service. I, I thought, I sat there thinking, thank God for these beautiful people here at Kellogg Church, and you look... So good out there this morning. Hope you've come with your cup right side up and you've come expecting a blessing. I, I, uh, I think what we ought to do in the beginning here is to have a word of prayer. It's a good way to start any service. And uh, as we're praying this morning, let's keep uh, Rob Bastinelli and, and Kathy Calico, who both had surgery this week in our prayers. And then there have been some that have... Uh, lost loved ones, and, and we want to uh, pray for them uh, this morning. Uh, 
Bow your heads with us and, and let's just have a word of prayer together. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we're glad that we're going somewhere by the grace of God. And that Heavenly Father, this morning we know that it's nothing that we've done. It's all because that you live, because that you rule, because that you reign upon the throne of grace that we can come boldly before the throne of grace this morning. And we pray that precious spirit of the living God, that from heart to heart and to bre from breast to breast that we can feel, thank God, I'm glad that we've got something that we can feel way down deep in our soul. And I pray, Heavenly Father, for these that have made that effort, Lord, to come out this morning, maybe they had reservations, but yet they're here this morning to praise and worship the mighty King of glory. We pray, Holy Spirit, bless them. And then, Lord, those uh, that these this message and, and Lord uh, this service will go out to uh, there on Facebook. We pray Holy Spirit that Lord God you would touch them. Bless them and encourage them. And Heavenly Father when all things are done and we're on our way home. Heavenly Father put that skip in her step. Put the joy bells within her heart and may we be able to say thank God that this has been a good place to be. We give you praise and we give you glory this morning for all things that you do in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we'll turn it over to Brother Steve and, and Sister Janet this morning as they lead us in a, a congregational number of two. Page 390.
Charlotte, if you want to. And I think we could do it too. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'll make an announcement or two here. Uh, well, I'll make one announcement anyway. Uh, they're wanting to, to put a, a memory wall over in the fellowship hall. And if you have a loved one that uh, was a member of Kellogg Church and they're already gone on to glory and you've got a picture of them, you'd like to, to have it put on the wall in the fellowship hall, they're going to make a wall and it's nothing but those of our members past that have passed and gone on to heaven. So if you bring us a, a five by seven picture, uh, what was the other size that they said they'd go with? Eight by ten, five by seven, eight by ten. Uh, we'll get that uh, going on on those uh, those uh, uh, that memory wall, and then uh, two uh, kind of keep your keep in mind that we're gonna uh, we're gonna be trying to get in your pocket in days to come. Uh, of course, since we've did some remodeling on the fellowship hall. Uh, we've got some places where we don't have carpet in there, uh, where we took out walls and such, and we're going to have to put some new carpet in. Uh, so uh, when we start trying to get in your pocket, you'll know what, what's going on. And then I, I will make this announcement to that back uh, at beside the door there. If you have tithes and offerings that you uh, need or want to put in, uh, there's a box back there, and just uh, uh, you can put it on in there on your way out. Uh, I think what we'll do now is, is Jeannie, you want to sing for us? We're glad that Jeannie's back with We're glad that all of you are, are back this morning. And uh, as glad as we are. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to go to church here. Have, have a time of refreshing in the Lord. It certainly is good to be back. I considered it last week, but I felt bad. I thought if I go, Dennis can't listen to the live stream because he doesn't do that stuff. But he looked at me this morning. He said, you go. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> I said, okay, I'll show it to you later. So it's really good to see all of you. It's been, seems like forever. And the faces are just a true blessing this morning. And when I walked in that door, just the presence that I felt yeah. was almost overcoming. Amen. And I just thank him for keeping us through all of this. Yeah. Okay. The revival was over. He was the last one to leave. Walked to his car in the dark and got out his keys. His old ragged Bible he placed on the seat by his side. Prayed out loud to the Lord and started to drive. He said, carry me, Jesus, carry me home. Lord, I've done my best, now you do the rest and carry me home. Carry me, Jesus, carry me home. Lord, I've kept the faith, i finished the race, now carry me home. Week after week, year after year, this went on. Thousands were saved, many touched, and then he was gone. 
But a friend of mine told me He was there by his bed He said you should have heard The last words that old preacher said He said carry me Jesus Carry me home Lord I've done my best Now you do the rest And carry me home Carry me Jesus Carry me home Lord I've kept the faith I finished my race, now carry me home. You've carried me so many times, my Lord. I wouldn't have made it on my own. So when I leave this world behind, my Lord, would you carry me, carry me home, carry me Jesus, carry me home. Lord, I've done my best, now you do the rest, and carry me home. Carry me, Jesus, carry me home. Lord, I've kept the faith, I've finished my race, now carry me home. Carry me, Jesus. Carry me home. There's a sweet sweet spirit in this place this morning in there you know uh, we've come uh, to worship uh, we are live streaming on, on Facebook but hey we've come to do like we've always done to let go let God have his way and if we'll let go and God have his way we'll go out of this place this morning a blessed people I often say we'll have a skip in her step and the joy bells will be ringing in her heart, and they will. But we'll, we'll have the, the strength to carry us through another week. I, 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 I'm, I'm thankful for though whether we're at home, whether we're at church, God's with us. Uh, but it's always good when we can get together with God's people. And it's, it's no wonder, he said, that forsake not the assembling of yourself, and even the more so as you see that day approaching. Uh, we need the, the fellowship that can only be gotten, if that's a, a good word, or maybe it's not a good word. Uh, I have a tendency to, to destroy the, the English language anyway, uh, but that's okay too. That's me. Uh, but thank God uh, for the presence of the precious Spirit of God that lives within our heart this morning. Amen. 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 Brother Steve, come and sing for us. Thank you, Jeannie, for that song. That's one that, well, if not my favorite, one of my favorites for sure. I can just see my grandpa in that song. And uh, one of these days I'll see him again, Art, by the grace of God. Number eight, brother. <clears throat> Thank you. 
in the mess of this old world sometimes i need a word from heaven that everything's okay i try to walk by faith but sometimes i'm so afraid i cannot see how god will make a way but then i think he's never failed me never left me not one time as i cried out and my voice he has not heard never failed me he won't start today he will make a way He's never failed me. Amen. Bless the Lord. As broken as you feel, your troubles, they are real. And I know you feel like God's forsaken you. But child, don't lose your faith. He is working while you wait. So just hold on. He will bring you through. He's never failed me. Never left me. Not one time as I cried out. And my voice he has not heard. Never failed me. He won't start today, He will make a way, He's never failed me, He's been faithful, so faithful. So I choose to trust Him now, He will make a way somehow so just believe then you will say he's never failed me never left me not one time as i cried out and my voice he has not heard never failed me he won't start today he will make a way He's never failed me He's never failed me Amen Amen
Foi uma delas. If you have your Bibles this morning, turn with us to John chapter 6. And we're going to begin reading there at verse 66. Uh, every time Steve sings that song, I, I think he had sung it probably two or three times before it ever, it, it, it ever, ever caught in my ear what was being said there when he says, he won't start today. And, and I thought, no. He hasn't thus far, and he won't start today. We can, we can be assured that God will be with us every step of the way till we, we get to that holy white city that John saw coming down. I hope you're glad that you're here today. If you are, say amen. amen. It, uh, you don't appreciate until it's kind of been taken away from you for a while. And we we had that uh, what six or seven weeks or so that that we were unable to to come to the, to the house of God, and every week there was I was here, but there was a longing for you to be here, and we're glad that you're here this morning. Got to get ready here. There, that way our shut-ins will get this this morning in John chapter 6 we're going to begin reading there verse 66 and, and then we'll go from there <clears throat> from that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him uh, then said Jesus unto the twelve wilt thou go away also or will thou also go away and Simon Peter, Peter answered him Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Have I not chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. Would you bow your heads with us once again for a word of prayer? Our precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mighty grace and power, Lord, and for the privilege of this morning of being able to sit here in the house of God and just absorb the blessings as God's Holy Spirit has come down upon us uh, and given us, Lord, that great and wondrous peace. We pray, Holy Spirit, this morning that Thou would give, Lord God, understanding of the Scripture and, Lord, that Thou would give us the unction and anointing of the Holy Spirit that we might be able to preach uh, to these, our people, both here and at home. Lord, use us, and then when You're through with us, may we stand aside. May God be given the glory, the honor, and the praise. For it's in Jesus' name that we ask these things. And amen. I, I thought as I began to look to that, at that scripture this morning, and I, I thought of, of the words of Peter, when Jesus asked them the question, will you go away also? You see, there had, had been many that had, had started out, and, and I thought that there have been many along the way that have began to walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. But this morning, somewhere they are in the far distance, probably not even thinking about the things of God. And, and I, I thought this morning, rather than to get into a quibble, I, I know that different people have different thoughts of, of, about uh, 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 doctrinally uh, uh, about uh, a person and, and they're going away from the Lord, but we know one thing that there had been those right within the presence of God, that, that, that with, with the Lord Jesus Christ, that had seen His works and seen the great things that He had done. But yet, my friends, I thought they, they'd seen the miracles. If you look uh, uh, there in early in the chapter, the sixth chapter, uh, you'll find uh, where that Jesus performed that great miracle. 
When he went to feed the 5,000 people, right? and how he fed them, he fed them with the, uh, the what was it, the two loaves and, and the five small fishes. But yet there were 5,000 people that were, uh, were sitting around and yet when the, 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 uh, the scraps were taken up, so to speak, the, because of the fragments in the Word of God, that there were 12 baskets of, of scraps that were taken up. Truly a great miracle for those people uh, uh, that were sitting around there to be able to eat all that they want. I'm sure that, uh, that as they, they sing that song, Jesus has the table spread where the saints of God are fed. He invites His chosen people to come and dine. And I've thought of them many a times when all of a sudden out of nowhere that God has a way of coming and, and feeding His people uh, and flooding their soul with glory. And I began to think this morning, but the, the time came when, when Jesus had to uh, begin to deliver the word and, and, and to tell them some things that, uh, that maybe that, that they didn't want to hear. He began to talk to them about that and if you're going to follow me, uh, uh, that you're going to have to eat of, of, of my body and, and drink of, of my blood. And, and spiritually, he was trying to get a message across to them uh, uh, that what you needed to do is, is to be uh, uh, all out for the things of God. And, and from that point, uh, from that time, uh, uh, people uh, began uh, to say, hey, uh, uh, that's a hard thing to, uh, to kind of take in. And, uh, and they began to, to, to walk away and to do their own thing. And I thought it's always good, my friends, that we could give a lesson uh, 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 to our people this morning. Uh, uh, we, we know uh, uh, that we've seen uh, many of that have come into our uh, fellowship and, uh, and maybe have, have stayed around for, uh, for several days. Only, my friend, all of a sudden just to throw up their hands uh, and go in, in a different direction. And I thought that, that it would be good for us to take an examination this morning. Wilt thou go away uh, also? Uh, uh, my friends, what is it that, that uh, what is your motive in serving the Lord? To so many of them there in Jesus' day, it was the bread uh, and the fishes that he was supplying it and causing their belly uh, uh, to be filled. But I thought, my friends, uh, this morning uh, that many a folk, uh, they serve him so, uh, uh, for so many different reasons when, uh, that we need to serve him because that we love him. I, I'll tell you what, he, he loved us, my friend, when we were unlovable. Uh, and he gave himself upon Calvary's cross uh, uh, to become the, the, the propitiation for mankind's sin. Uh, and this morning he sits at the right hand of the Father forever to make intercession. And he said, come. Uh, but yet I thought uh, of my friend of uh, this thought this morning uh, of what the that Jesus said when he said, Wilt thou go away also? And I thought, my friends, that there are, are different uh, uh, things that, that people, uh, 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 that, that they're thinking and, and doing, my friends, this morning. But I'll tell you what, uh, we need to take the thought. I'll tell you what, uh, when one comes to the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, there must be a commitment uh, that's made unto him until, my friends, uh, we come to that place to where we put her all of, of, of sacrifice upon the altar uh, and allow him to be king of kings and lord of lords. Uh, he's really not even lord at all. Uh, and I'll tell you this morning uh, uh, that you and I as the people of God, uh, we need to take that, that scripture. Uh, I know in whom that I have believed and I'm persuaded uh, that he's able to keep that uh, which I have committed unto him against that day uh, and make it the word of of life, my friend, that we go by, that as we walk down the journeys of this life, that my, that we can begin to see that, my friend, it's more than than just my friend a mere. A, 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 a fad. There's so many people there. They're mixed up in the fads. And my friend, they need to get a faith and begin to realize that Jesus Christ can be there all in all. He can be. He can be, my friend, that one that's with you there. You may be somewhere, my friend, where that you're, you seem so all alone. There in your home, and may I say this, he's never more than a whisper. But thank God, I'm a prayer away and he loves us my friend enough that 
he, he, he paid the price on Calvary uh, that mankind may have a uh, way out. Thank God. Hey, if it wasn't for my friend, uh, a Savior, my friend, that can take away uh, uh, the sin of uh, my friend, not alone the other world, but uh, individually speaking, uh, he can come down uh, and so feel and thrill a, a person's heart, my friend, that he makes life worth the living. Aren't you glad that the best this morning? I, so I began this morning with this thought. I, Jesus asked the question, I, will thou go away also? I, and I thought I, that you and I, we need to take this I, within our mind and with our, in our thinking I, and decide that we're going to go all the way. I, I, that my friend, that in spite I, of, of all the things and many a times, you think of it, I, I, many a times when we I, begin to start this journey, I, uh, there are so many things that come against us. Uh, uh, many a times our friends and our family, uh, uh, they decide that my friend, that, that they're going to, uh, to forsake us and go a different way. Uh, I can remember uh, uh, those uh, guys that we uh, uh, used to, uh, to so-called fellowship with on Saturday night uh, as we gathered together and, and had a, 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 a drunken ball. Uh, uh, but my friend, uh, it didn't take long uh, uh, when we... Uh, decided to serve the Lord Jesus Christ before uh, they took their, uh, uh, their uh, way and went in a different direction. Uh, and many a times we have to face, uh, my friend, uh, uh, the, the cruel world as the world looks upon us. And, and I'll tell you what, uh, when you come to love the Lord Jesus and take a stand for Him, uh, the world many a times don't love you. Uh, but I can tell you one thing, uh, if you'll just take your stand and stand uh, that one of these days after a while uh, uh, we're going to a place my friend uh, oh hallelujah uh, I'm glad that Roger Moody can say thank God I believe uh, in the pie in the sky uh, uh, brother I'll tell you what uh, and if I don't have a pie in the sky uh, I'm still going to stand upon the precious promises of God uh, and believe uh, that my friend he'll take me through uh, but I'll tell you what uh, he said my friend uh, that we're going to a place uh, uh, that was far better than anything that we could uh, ever think about here. Yeah, uh, uh, you talk these things, preacher, uh, uh, but do you believe them? Uh, I'll tell you what, I've not seen that city, uh, but my friend, uh, I've I read a lot of things uh, in the precious word of God that leads me to believe uh, it would be a place where that I want to be uh, and by the help and the grace of God, uh, I've made a determination uh, uh, that I'm going to go to heaven uh, in spite of, of, of my friend the, the accusations and my friend the pressures uh, uh, that the world can place upon you and I thought uh, uh, that when you begin to serve God uh, uh, that the tempter is always there to tempt and to try uh, and try to get you uh, uh, to, to be uprooted uh, uh, brother I thought of the number of times uh, uh, that he's come to us when uh, uh, that maybe things weren't going to uh, uh, and like the way that we wanted to. And he said, well, where's your God at now? Well, he was still there. And my friend, he hears and he answers prayer. Well, glory to God. And I thought of the times that he's come up of my friend and said, well, maybe at the time when it seemed like that we were at our lowest ebb, and my friend, the devil would come by and he'd say, well, why don't you just throw up your hands and quit? But I felt like uh, these disciples did when they said, Lord, where would we go to? You've got the words of eternal life. Uh, brother, I'll tell you what, uh, the word is there. Uh, if people would just begin to pay particular attention uh, and listen to the word of God uh, that Jesus said, uh, my friend, uh, that, that behold, uh, I stand at the door and knock in my friend. Uh, there's a precious Savior uh, that every step along the way uh, He's there uh, with determination to knock upon your door and get your attention uh, and allow you to see uh, uh, that my friend you're missing out. Uh, uh, brother, I'll tell you what, I like a baloney uh, uh, but my 
right, friend, it's always good when the steak comes out and we can begin to take partake of the good things out there that's in the steak. And I'll tell you what, a lot of people are living even below the baloney this morning. They're living their life and they call, well, I'm having a big time. When with every day they're destroying their body and they're destroying their life. My friend, I've thought of the drug addicts that are on the street that are involved with the drugs and my friend, they'll, they'll take a dose and think that my friend, their, their mind is going to go and they're going to get away from everything that troubles them. I'll tell you what, you may as well come down to the place where you realize that my friend, this is life. It's not life living out there in a fantasy world. You've got to deal with whatever comes your way. And my friend, I thought that many a times these drug addicts will, my friend, take too much of the drug. And, 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 and my friend, if it wasn't for that, that they, they're able to give them now the Narcan, I, I believe it is, they'd already be gone. And God at that point gives them another chance that, my friend, they may have the reality check and realize that my friend that that's not my friend what they want and that's not the place to where that they go if they live like devil they'll go my friend to a devil's hell where that my friend saith what you will and say well preacher you're trying to scare us but I'm telling you the word of God that my friend where the worm dieth not and my friend where the fire is not quenched I believe that, my friend, if the word of God is true, hell is going to be a place, my friend, where that mankind don't want to put their head. And my friend, it's time that we as a people of God get to the place where that we realize if we're going to get them in, we're going to have to pull them up, my friend, by the bootstraps. And my friend, cause them to see that, my friend, one of these days that they're going either to a heaven or they're going to a hell. The only way to get into that holy white city is my friend, have my friend your name written in the Lamb's book of life. The only way to have your name written in the Lamb's book of life is make your way somewhere to an altar of prayer and pray through clear and clear through. Thank God to where every sin my friend is forgiven you get up, begin to start on a new walk. Thank God with a new attitude. We don't have to hold our head down. We can hold our head up and say hallelujah. Thank God to heaven's king. I've got something my friend within my being that the world doesn't have but yet my friend the world can have if they'll be my friend like these disciples were my friend that were following after the Lord Jesus Christ how they had decided they had made up their mind they were going to serve the Lord and my friend I think that when one comes to the Lord God you've got to you've got to sell out my friend for the whole the gamut of the thing you're going to have to decide that for me and my house we're going to serve the Lord and my friend take a one step at a time heading up a road my friend that's going to lead you to the city of God I'm glad this morning I've made my determination the Lord lives within my heart and my friend this morning thank God I can tell you I'm ready to go are you ready to go this morning thank God the word of God went forth our age will doubt will you go away also and the disciples said well where should we go Lord you have the words of eternal life what if we don't have Jesus we've got that not God anything knows my friend that have made one step in a forward direction and, and my friend go away my friend they're, they're lost and they're in a deep avoid my friend this morning with a longing my friend to see something more I'm glad that my friend sink, swim, survive or perish it, no, it makes no difference what others may do that for me and my house I have decided Thank God. We're going to serve the Lord. And he said, serve the Lord.
with gladness, come before his presence with singing. Uh, know ye that he is God, and beside ye uh, that there is none other God. Glory. Uh, I'm glad this morning. Uh, have it the hope. Uh, I thank God that we have uh, here as, uh, as a body of people this morning that uh, uh, goes beyond uh, uh, this old world. Uh, I call that we've noticed, uh, uh, my friends, since this thing has begun, uh, and I, I don't think it has so much to do with the COVID, uh, but they've been a lot of uh, people to die all around us. Uh, and that tells us something, my friends, uh, uh, that we, uh, uh, we're going to die too. Uh, we're here today. Uh, we have no guarantees of tomorrow. Uh, uh, but we know uh, when Jesus comes, uh, uh, my friend, we're going to go uh, with Him uh, uh, to a place like God uh, uh, that the world knows nothing about. I uh, uh, say this morning, uh, and then I began to think, uh, uh, my friend, they said not only uh, uh, that thou hast the word, shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Uh, they began to say, we know uh, and are sure uh, that thou art the Son of the living God. I'll tell you what this morning, uh, when you know what you know, what you know, uh, they can't beat it, beat it out of you. Uh, people try to come along and tell you, well, uh, now you know uh, uh, that, that my friend, uh, this is, that you uh, uh, are, uh, have put your uh, commitment into, uh, uh, you, you can't really uh, tell much about it. Uh, I can tell you one thing, uh, uh, that my friend, uh, in 1972, uh, at an old-fashioned altar of prayer, uh, I knelt down upon my knees. Uh, you say, well, that uh, seems uh, kind of simple to me. Uh, well, uh, that's the only way that my friend, I know how to do it. I, I, I'll tell you what, many of times we don't realize that uh, my friend, I, I, I didn't live uh, uh, in, in a place where that I, that I went to, to church every Sunday, uh, but yet I was, uh, uh, I think that I was just smart enough to know that there had to be a higher power. Uh, and my friend, I realized uh, uh, that my friend one day that I needed him uh, uh, more than I needed life myself. Uh, uh, and I went to uh, uh, my friend to that church revival meeting. Uh, you say, well, that, that sounds kind of humdrum to me too, uh, preacher. Uh, but thank God, uh, I'm glad with the songwriter that I can say that something got a hold of me. Uh, and my friend, I made my way uh, uh, down to an altar of prayer and prayed uh, through clear and clear through. Uh, I got up uh, with feeling because my friend, uh, I looked down and even the, the night air looked better. I got up the next morning uh, and it looked better than it ever been and I went. Uh, I thought, my friend, uh, there is therefore no condemnation uh, to them that walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Uh, I had a freedom uh, within my heart because all uh, that God had been forgiven uh, and I began to walk. Uh, and my friends, I'm walking, been walking since 1972 uh, and I'm going to walk uh, right out of this world one of these days. Uh, uh, my friend, I don't know. Uh, it may be like Brother Charles uh, when he was uh, waiting, uh, uh, my friend, uh, for his ride, thank God. Uh, and that Cadillac comes along uh, and takes us on to heaven. Uh, uh, my friend, I don't know uh, the means that I'm going, but I can tell you one thing for sure. Uh, I'm headed for a city. Uh, thank God which have foundation, uh, whose builder and maker is God. Uh, and he said, thank God that you can go to. Uh, oh, get ready. Uh, uh, we're getting ready to take a trip on the old gospel ship. Uh, we'll be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Uh, and we're going to a place, uh, uh, my friend, where it'll be joy uh, and peace forevermore. Uh, we'll never have to worry about the torments of the, uh, the struggler. We'll never have to worry uh, about COVID-19. We'll not have to worry, uh, uh, my friend, about anything because we'll be uh, in the presence of the Almighty God, uh, uh, the King of Kings uh, and the Lord of Lords. Uh, he became my King in 1972. Uh, well, how about you? Well, glory to God. I'm glad this morning for Jesus. Praise His holy name. I'll come and sing a song for us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
I would give you silver or gold Or that you would ever feel the fire Or shiver in the cold But I did say you'd never Walk through this world alone And I did say Don't make this world your home said that fear wouldn't find you in the night or that loneliness was something you'd never have to fight but I did say I'd be right there by your side and I did say I'll always help you fight Cause you know I made a promise That I intend to keep My grace will be sufficient In every time of need My love will be the anchor That you can hold on to This is the promise This is the promise I've made to you I never said that friends would never turn their backs on you or that the world around you wouldn't see you as a fool but I did say like me you'll surely be despised And I did say, my ways confound the wise. I didn't say you'd never taste the bitter kiss of death or have to walk through chilly Jordan to enter into rest. But I did say I'd be waiting right on the other side. And I did say I'll dry every tear you cry. Cause you know I've made a promise that i prepared a place and someday sooner than you think you'll see me face to face and you'll sing with the angels and a countless multitude this is the promise this is the promise i've made to you Don't turn to the left or right And in the midst of darkness Let this be your light That hell can't separate us You're gonna make it through This is the promise This is the promise I've made to you This is the promise I've made to you.